Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Our next guest is making a difference in the lives of Latinos in our community. With me, I have um, Baltazar. He is the director over at the Latino Academy of Workforce Development. And he's also brought a special guest, one of their students. This is Marisol. Thanks for joining me today, folks. Thank you very much for giving us this opportunity. It's yeah, wonderful. I've been looking at your information online, and it sounds like you are doing some really great things for folks out there. Tell our viewers what the Latino Academy of Workforce Development is doing. Yeah, uh, the Latino Academy uh, of Workforce Development, we are a grassroots program that provides education, training and employment opportunities for the Spanish-speaking community in Dane County. Uh, we have, our students are normally from 17 years old to 75 years old. <laughs> uh, we have three semesters, just like any other institution, uh, spring, summer, and fall. And we are the first step for many of our students before they go into Mason College. Uh, they come to Latino Academy where they feel comfortable so that later they can move on into Mason College or any other institution. A very critical first step, and you've yes. been with these folks all the way so far, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. So uh, let's just chat briefly about some of the programs that you have. The Latino Academy, we have uh, four different, uh, uh, three different areas. Uh, we have education, training, and employment. And as part of those uh, areas, we provide uh, ESL classes, GED classes, computer classes, SurSafe, forklift training, and we also have a very important area, which is workplace safety for the Latino community. Those are some of the areas that we do work with the Latino community. Well, it's kind of hard to decide which is more important, you know, the ESL, the GED, the, the training, the job opportunities, it's all so important. The computer work, you know, it's, it's all important. And, and I think the way how we see it is our students come, they say, what do I need now to get a job? <laughs> And then uh, as they keep getting jobs, then they keep improving and then uh, advancing in their uh, employment uh, and, and also in their education. Oh, so someone could come and then come back for more later. It yes. Like. Oh, yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Now, you wouldn't be able to offer this to these folks without the support of some partners. Um, let's give them a shout out. Who are the folks that are your partners? First of all, uh, Mason College, we do all our education, the majority of our education opportunities with Mason College. Madison College. We also work with the Workforce uh, Development Board of South Central Wisconsin when it comes to employment. And we have a group of the our steering committee, which I'm going to read just because uh, these are very, very important partners. Yeah. Uh, we have Mason College, the Latino Education Council, Wisconsin Literacy, Wisconsin Women's Initiative Corporations, the Latino Chamber of Commerce, OSHA, the Workers' Rights Center, Unique and Stevens Corporation. We're also part of the Construction Employment Initiative, and that's formed by the YWCA, the Urban League, Operation Fresh Star, Foundations for the Trades, Construction Training Inc., and the Workforce Development Board of the South Central Wisconsin. And I'm almost done. <laughs> uh, is, we're also part of the United Way Higher Initiative, which is part of Literacy Network, YWCA, Omega School, Madison Area Urban Ministry, Centro Hispano, and the Urban League. And I know there are uh, a lot of people, but we need those partnerships to be able to succeed. You do. And so I think it's worth, worth mentioning, absolutely. Absolutely. Couldn't be done without them. Yep, it couldn't be done. Um, you have a new program, I noticed, on your website. It's a, a partnership with Stevens Construction. Yes. Um, tell us a, just a little bit about that, and then Marissa will tell us about her experience with it. Excellent. Uh, yeah, this program, the uh, bilingual construction program, was created by, with the help of the City of Madison and the Construction Employment Initiative. This is the first time that we have that type of program. Uh, we already graduated two cohorts. Uh, 25 graduates the first one, 11 graduates the second cohort. And Marisol, uh, she's one of our students, and the program is also funded by United Way of Day County. So Marisol is one of our uh, great students who, who graduated from, from that cohort. Uh, Stevens offered uh, jobs to 10 uh, of our 11 uh, students who graduated. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So this is a way for folks to get experience and maybe a job. Yes. And Marisol, when I looked at the graduation pictures, I saw there were many women. And congratulations to you. We Thank just you have so a much. few seconds left. Briefly, tell me what your experience was like. It's a great experience. It's a great opportunity. Ac Ac Academia Latino get to the community, especially the uh, Latino community. 
And I have a, I, sp I, I enjoy what I, the days I, in classes, two week two weeks in class, they are tutoring, and the last week we do like a hands-on, they are teaching you how uh, make, uh, building a wall, how building a window, uh, wo um, wall, uh, to a wall, how you cut some wood, um, sure. welding, so many things, and it's great, and we don't see, so many women doing this type of job, and it's kind of nice and great. Um, I enjoy the group, and I'm really excited because I have another another woman enjoy the same group, and I'm really happy they do something like this. And hopefully, some more women decide enjoying something like as construction. Very interesting, and congratulations to you. Good Thank luck you. with your your construction career. You sure don't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> we are you. we are out of time. Thank you so much uh, for telling us more about the Latino Academy of Workforce Development. Very interesting. Congratulations on your work. We need to take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll be talking about hybrid electric vehicles.